Hello everyone, welcome to the SecOps tutorial. So today our hands-on and our theory will be based on the another container security tool which is Anchor. So it is open source free. Also it has an enterprise version which has its own benefits like you can define your own policies, you can have role based access to the con uh, containers, etc. etc. So let's start with our first slide. So Anchor allows us to perform detailed analysis on container images, run queries, produce reports. Also, we can define our own policies which can be used with CI CD pipelines. Now, how to do the anchor setup? So for that, I have committed everything in my Git repository. You just need to go to anchor security gate and download the uh, or clone the GitHub URL. After that, you need to go to uh, the clone URL and inside that we need to go to anchor volume directory and then run the docker compose of minus D which will run our containers for anchor and the PostgreSQL, which is the database. Then we will be installing in our, uh, uh, then we will install the anchor container image scanner from the plugin section. And yep, so this is the uh, anchor container image scanner, which will be installing uh, the plugin. And then we will mention in the global configure section, uh, the URL to be accessed from. So it will be the same machine where you are installing the anchor. And then we'll give the default username password, which is admin, and the password is foobar, that is F O O B A R, all in small. Then we'll configure a freestyle job and provide the, our uh, repository URL for the application for the credentials as normally. And then what we will do is because Anchor works on the uh, file with Anchor images, so here we will uh, pass our image name to the anchor images file and store it and later we will select the uh, from the build section anchor build options and uh, provide our file name that is anchor underscore images and leave everything default so finally after the evaluation is done we will get the summary of the results here so the dashboard will look like this so all the policies may be mentioned like we are using the default policy so as of now we have only one warning action then what the warning action is to uh, like we don't have any health check for now is true so that's it for the from the theory part let's move on to the hands-on so I will go to our Jenkins machine and I will also go to uh, the github URL clone the URL for my anchor security yep so cloning is done Let's move to the folder, anchor volume, and I will just run docker compose of minus D. So for if you're running for the first time, it will download all the images, pull all the images from the internet and keep it locally on our Jenkins server.
cool so sims it's up and running so let's move on to the global configure section i mean uh, let's download the anchor plugin first in the meanwhile also let's check whether it's really up and uh, the endpoint is there so we will just fetch jenkins ip Yep, seems the setup is correct. Well, let's move to Jenkins and manage Jenkins. Manage plugin. And we will search for anchor plugin. Yep, so this is the first one. Just go with the first one. Download now and install up to restart. Yep, so it's downloaded. Let's restart our Jenkins now. Yep, seems it's up and running. Let me pass on the credentials and login. Yep, let's move on to the configure section. Now let's move to anchor one and we will give the anchor engine host IP and then the port and v1. Yep, so this is the one. We'll give the default username password for us. Admin F double O B A are all in small caps all in small not in caps i mean so let's go and save it so we have done till this part as installation of the jenkins plugin and also configuring uh, the plugin uh, in the global section now we will create the freestyle job so let's move on and create a new item Security, image, scanner, and it will anchor. Freestyle, okay. Now I have installed this uh, anchor uh, with Jenkins itself so that there should be no delay and also that's why uh, I'll mention the master in the configuration. Yep, so here just restrict, select master, and we will give our GitHub uh, URL for our application, which is the game. Clone it. Select your credentials. That's it. Let's go to the build section. And here we will select the anchor image scanner. Yep, everything looks good here. And we need one more build section. So I will go here and select the shell. And I will move it to upper part. Yep, because here we need to feed some. Uh, thing to anchor underscore images file. So let's see what we need to feed the next. So actually, we'll simply be feeding our image. That is the Amrit 96 snake, uh, which is our game latest part to from the workspace to anchor images.
so this should not be the issue let me check once again looks okay let me try once more So it seems it is trying it's trying to submit the image for analysis we can see here waiting for analysis of this image polling status periodically it will take some time maybe you can go and grab some coffee or drink maybe four to five minutes it will take yep seems the analysis is completed now let's move on to the real results so here is the report generated so as i see like our report is this is the policy evaluation summary the default policy we set up so there is no stop, stop actions uh, we have one more warning action no go action and final action so the warning which we have is the our docker image doesn't have any health check which is true let's go further and check the security aspect there is no such security vulnerability as per the default rules so that's it that's it for the policy and security part from the anchor side and let's move on to our next lecture thanks thanks for joining for this tutorial